just kind of dry brush it out. Hello. Can't really see it on camera, but it like mutes the the brown and kind of makes it a little grimy looking. I just want to try to get that in between these little grooves on the wood here. So it'll So far away. Oh my gosh. That's scary. At the concert or like art whatever. Ashy. Ash. Wow. That sounds... You can come back. Yeah. You get to see some more of our little tree. Oh, yeah. You're good with that. So I mixed up um, some of that white that I had with like this, it's like a lime green acrylic. I mixed in a little bit of this mustardy yellow in with it. And I'm just kind of giving it like that hint of green. Um, cause then I'm going to go in with a yellow wash that's a little bit diluted. And after that, yeah, like bang up the edges of the chair to like hold it. Like your grandma's chairs are here. So right now I'm just kind of giving it an all over base coat. So we feel all about little way. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe. I might try. I might try to. And then kind of distress it from there. I didn't even think about the little flowers. But that would be cool. Okay. 
need to find like a, a reference for the little flowers. Here. I really want to do like a a yellow stool. I remember my mom having like a a sunflower yellow stool, you know? A wooden. She had this like weird step stool too that was like a chair with the metal and then it was like a terracotta color kind of like the the back of it yeah me too i just think it looks cool like in the in the distress stuff and like the abandoned things because it's it's kind of what we know too so if i were to picture like something that was abandoned i would picture like 70s stuff or like a you know like one of those tiny flower flower like orange patterned pouches um like the avocado greens most most of that stuff that's that's what i would picture Yeah. And then I feel like the 80s was like totally kind of the opposite of that because you had like the like black and pink and then like the pink and hunter green blues, baby blues, like going into the 90s there. Everybody had like baby blue and white. And pink, like a baby pink and a baby blue. With like ducks on it. Yeah. It was all very, like, I don't know, like, primary, primary colors and bold, bold patterns, bold colors. And then it kind of muted down again to, like, pastels in the 90s, like, early 90s. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, it's all over. And then now, what? The 90s came back, but the late 90s, which was kind of the 70s, so the 70s is kind of in again. I don't know. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with um, my green color. I just put a little bit of alcohol in here to dilute it a little bit. Um, it's like white. It's like, but um, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna add more of this yellow. It kind of a, I don't know, almost like a nicotine kind of feel. And then we're gonna take just like teeny, teeny, weeny bit of brown, too. so it has more of like the grandma smoking in the kitchen feel. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie though, I like the I like the gray. I'm a sucker for like the gray walls and stuff. I like that.
So this is just kind of adding another layer, like the grimy kind of nicotine, very, very subtle, but you can see it. So I want it to kind of look like years of exposure. And then I'll go in and chip off some paint and uh, give it some some love marks. I don't know, just like scuffs and like worn edges from people moving the chair around. <laughs> I don't know like I don't I don't really like the lighter gray tones though I like more of the darker gray tones and then I like mix them with other things but I do like like gray I do like neutral wall base or whatever but but then again I also like that are painted crazy colors like I'm a sucker for a wild accent wall. I don't know. I'm not much of a of a designer to tell you the truth because most of our walls don't even have we have a bunch of really cool art and stuff to hang up, but we just never do. I think the most we've done is we have a little bit in the living room. Then with this one, I'm just kind of going in and in it with brush. Bring it just a little bit of modeled. Again, you can't really see it. me as and I will like I'll post a picture on Instagram too so that um I get the close up because I feel like with the camera my well number one my lighting sucks ass a lot But it's kind of, it's kind of starting to come to life now. Very slowly. Oh, there's my green. I knew I had a green in here.
want to make it look like it's been repainted a few times too. I really want to spicy meat a ball. And I kind of dab and then. I just want to get a napkin, but I don't have one. Hey, what's up? I am just distressing some furniture here. I've decided I'm going to become a miniature artist. Um. Or like abandoned miniatures so now I'm just making this chair all grimy and grody and it's pretty good so far um, but I don't have a Napkin to wipe it. So I'm just but not too bad. Yeah, no, I wouldn't do that. Especially when you were a kid, you get like lead poisoning. Didn't everything have lead in it back? Then? I mean, that's what I remember from being a kid, but... Or, like, you know, they'd always be like, That kid eats paint chips! Whatever. I have no idea. It could have been before that, and I just am taking it way out of context. Um, you know, I don't know. We're about the same age. <laughs> Was that in Jason's time? Jason, did they have lead paint chips when you were a kid? <laughs> He's in the living room with the dog, so he'll come back. I'm like an out. Let's see this. Look at that. Hey.
and then start a little bit of a darker brown. I think I'll grab shit. She a little bit more of a brown tone here. Alcohol. This one's more of a reddish brown, like a rusty. Wanna do This one I'm not gonna hit everywhere just it's kinda tapping out the uh tapping out the excess there is Again, making it look grimy as fuck. That's what I like about the alcohol. So I feel like you got a little bit too much on Tap it out or add more alcohol and then your little excess bit lighten up or come off. So please kind of a fun way to paint it. Yeah, it's looking And it's kind of like water stained, like they're water. Yeah. Two. Ew. I like it. Um. But I
Pas mal. Très bien. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know if there's... I do wish that chair was so thick. But granted, I did get it at Hobby Lobby. So, you know, when it is time to get like actual chairs, we just order them or make them. Yeah, this is this turned out pretty good. It's super grimy. And I do like the sickly. And dirt in the back. I always feel like dust and dirt kind of accumulate in the back of the chain, no matter what you do. Where are you? Um. Okay. And now we'll do. Every time face him, he has a a finger and a fingernail that's just covered in. So I call it his dookie. Right. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. I bet you could do the same thing. And like, I think everywhere where I go and like scratch the off, I'm gonna um like <laughs> I think I'm gonna paint all these little square spots like dark 
and then um, I'll go back in and like take more off um, and then leave. But it's hard to It's hard to not want to do too much to it. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Just taking down, like, the wood. Just, like, put it off, but it... There. Yeah, I mean, it's it's actually looking really cool, um, especially for, like, not doing this before. Maybe I am the miniature master. No? Okay. Can't just have my Okay, what do we think so far? I think it's kind of neat. Um, I'm actually kind of impressed. Damn. All right, so now I'm going to go back in. I think I want to like. A little bit more browns for color. Um. Thank you. 
for mm. That I need because I don't want to go over all of them. Maybe. No. And I'm going to get some. Yeah, I'm gonna put some like um black in here. Actually, am I being honest to say? I have some brown in here, but you can't see it. So everything just looks green under the light. But I promise there is there is a lot of brown in there. It's just not showing up under the camera. But I definitely want to uh do a little bit of black and then I'm gonna kinda go in and dry brush some orange. I'm gonna water down some of this black or well alcohol down or it's coming coming out. Yeah, but the darker. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I feel like it could have gone. <laughs> it's almost like a little bit of like dry rot, some like black mold on there. I know. Me too, actually. It's kind of cool. I did see I did see a rocking chair at Hobby Lobby when I was there, and I almost got it, but they wanted like $15 for it, and I was like, for a chair? But now I'm learning that um, miniatures are like super expensive. I don't, I'm still not quite sure why, but... I know, like... Everything is so expensive. That's why I was so stoked whenever I found all of the most of these minis that I got for like 
80% off because I was like, hell yeah, God, those are expensive, you know? really want to like spray some cobwebs over this chair. What's all this spooky music that's playing? Welcome to my lair. I guess it's better than the those weird like flutes I had yesterday. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's good enough. Yeah, that's that's good enough. Oh, I'm so sorry. I keep doing everything like close to me and I keep forgetting that you guys help. I think I'm just about done because I think if I do any more, it's gonna be like too much. I know it's easy to go. You think I should peel more of like the little paints up or do you think that's maybe a little bit more? Yeah, it's easy to get muddy with that stuff.
Dang. Spooky. I'm not mad at it. I like it. It's pretty, pretty cool. I don't know. Maybe we should go ahead and do the. I will grab it. Hang on, just a sec. Okay. I try to do the enemy grab some of that. Same. Oh, I've got a little bit of... This is good. Oh, on the butt? So... On this... Oh, that works way better. I mean, I like that it took off like chunks, you know? Oh, there we go. How about that? Like a worn seat. All right. We're gonna try the pillow. I I don't know how it's gonna go. Yes, he approved. Thank you. Does it get the Jason sticker of approval? No. What? That is Music is I need a sticker for your... Can you just give a thumbs up? Huh? Mm -hmm. Give me a... On the... For what? That you approve! Oh, just stick yeah. your thumb over here. Is 
There you go. Shit. Back. <laughs> All right, let's make this pillow shitty. <laughs> Are you being brown? Oh, okay. Colors. You need some colors. I mean, you can still use shitty colors. Some greens on there. This is green. In fit green. Yeah. This is like there's a hole in the roof. <laughs> Found out all my stuff for many, many a year. Ding, 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 ding. That's all this lo-fi shit is. It's fucking ding, 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 ding. It is not. Ding, 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 ding. Oh shit, what up, Sean? How's it going, How's man? How's it going? Thanks. How you doing? How have you been? A little some pissed in the neighborhood raccoon. Yes. Yes, I've seen that on, on Instagram and stuff. That's awesome. I seen that um that was one of the last things I seen. Um that that big ass fucking mural that you worked on was awesome. A smoke shop and in, in, yeah that was cool man so you're home for three weeks and then off again for six where, where are you headed uh you still doing like the um concerts and festivals and stuff like that Oklahoma, huh? Bourbon and beyond, louder than life and after. Cool. Rock that sounds like a, a lot of. You got a big RV though, right? I remember you uh, you showed me where you had painted it up and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, so I haven't streamed in two years. I don't know the last time you had streamed. Um, this is my wife, Laura. Hello. 
And she got Was that weird? <laughs> yes, it was a little weird. Uh, she, uh, she got hurt and uh, has a hurt hip and has been laid up for the last couple months and it might be a little longer. Um, she might have to have surgery. Um, so anyway, she's, uh, been, um, going stir crazy. Nice to meet you. Side. Yeah. And so anyway, she was wanting to stream again, or wanting to stream, and, uh, it's like gonna make like spooky sets for me and then I'm gonna do little characters and might do some stop-motion animation and stuff like that definitely look out for that uh, I'd, I'd love to see what you're working on next that's cool should I go ahead and good how do you think this might have to do a little test um If you have any questions on painting, uh, Sean's the man. He's an amazing painter. Oh, awesome. I've nice. shown you his stuff. He was uh, he did like the, the weed grinders and oh, yeah, he yeah, was yeah. all okay. about Yes, I fucking, remember those. Uh, well, what do you call it? like promotional uh, products and stuff like that too. Oh, that's putting cool. his art on all kinds of shit. That's cool. Nice. Hey, look, I was telling them how I always make fun of you with your Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, Sean, do you do you have a shit finger a lot with your painting? <laughs> you use acrylics though, right? So it's not so bad. I use the acrylic inks and you know I airbrush a lot and I always have Dookie finger. Yeah, the dookie finger. Signed a deal with Zippo. Awesome, dude. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Jason, if we, like, go to meet his mom anywhere, he's always like... Yeah, because my mom like was always totally grossed out by it. Oh, I'm like, yeah. I swear I washed my hands. It's just they're stained <laughs> I know. with paint. <laughs> she'll she'll be like talking to him, and then all of a sudden go wow, and like zoom in on his like finger, and he's like, <laughs> the guy's just picking my ass <laughs> right before or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's in there? Tiny silverwares. Oh no. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go for it and distress this. And then if it sucks, I can like paint it white and do it again. Right? And then if this sucks, I'll just get coffee stirs and glue them on the back. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. I'm nervous. <laughs> I can't remember how I started. I think I did like. I'll do like a yellow wash and then like go in with brown. So, when's the last time uh, you've streamed, Sean?
Hopefully it hasn't been two years like it, it has for me. Mm. works okay and then it kind of like pulls because it like water because I want it I want it all to look like a bin see I don't know like it got like black mold and water damage on it. been outside left in the elements for a long time Over a year, yeah. Oh wow! Fancy. Well, I'm glad uh, that we both kind of jumped back on around the same time here. Ashy, why are you crying? What's wrong? What's wrong? Huh? Yeah, it's it's tough to uh like all my settings and OBS and all that shit. I'm still actually trying to catch up. I'd like forgotten how to even do all this streaming. The biggest issue is I don't have a DJ like you do. Um, I think. I'll just... Yeah. So with the whole music thing, it sucks. I can't play all my. I have to play all this shitty license free loot solo. Do -do 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 -do. Wait, you have your own DJ? He is his friend. Yeah. Oh, wow. He would be doing music when he was painting. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that too. I was looking uh, a couple nights yeah. ago. I actually went through the whole thing, and yeah, it's still like 95% uh, anime titties. <laughs> Sorry, I can't provide people with that. I mean, I probably could, but I don't. Oh, he moved to LA. I guess that means more room in that studio for all your paintings then, huh? Um. That's right, sugar. Sugar. Yeah, he was cool. Oh. Moving all your stuff, that's cool. Yeah, I need to, um, if I'm going to be doing dual streams with Flora here, I, I got to figure out a better. We just set this table up real quick, but this is going to be a more uh, ongoing thing. We got to rearrange, too. So much room for activities? Yes. Yeah, anyway, 95% anime, and then some cool, you know, art lost in the sea of that. I've decided I'm going to make my own backdrop for my hutch because fuck this doesn't work very well. I'll keep the paper in the bottom of the drawer, though, because 
no one's gonna see that. But this, I'm gonna make my own. And then when I go to do the flooring, then I'll like stagger all the little popsicle sticks. But for this one, since it's just like planks, I'm just gonna do this and then I think I'm gonna like pour some Elmer's glue and then brush it off and then flip it around to the back like Yeah, it's fun doing, uh, like when I was doing work for the haunts, that was probably the the biggest thing I enjoyed Stop, from dude. it. Besides it being just like a huge building that's, you know, basically a blank canvas, but it's just the scale of it, you know, getting to do large, you know, I did a lot of large set stuff, so design and painting and all that kind of fun stuff. And definitely the older I get, I find the bigger my work is getting. <laughs> I don't have the eyes or the hand that I used to. Uh, and I don't know, I just enjoy working larger. Because um, you can't see. But of course now we're like doing miniature stuff and I'm like, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Great. Awesome. I love it. Oh. Yeah, Laura was watching some. What? what? What is it? Who's the one you're following? Oh, um, like Southern Gothic Dollhouse. And I don't know, I follow a lot of them on Instagram and TikTok and they all do like the abandoned scenes and I, that's kind of my jam. That's what I really like. So that's, that's what I want to do. And then I'm going to uh, do these sets for Jason, but I really want to get into like diorama building and like mini, mini abandoned scenes. And so that's kind of what I was doing with this. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never done any of this before, so I just saw it and was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna try it. And it's been really fun. I've I've really enjoyed it. But yeah, I I have no idea. Um, no, she this this chick did she did a dollhouse, but it was all different rooms, and then one of her rooms was like completely like, it looked like it was submerged in water, um, but it was, like, poured resin, and so it had things floating in it. It was, it's one of the coolest things that I've seen, like, for a diorama. And then she just finished, like, this really cool, like, treehouse um, in, like, this old spooky-looking tree. I don't know. She's really talented. I like her stuff a lot. A 12 by 4 foot piece. That's awesome. Yeah, see, you know, uh, you have a lot of details in, in your work, and, you know, I like putting a lot of details to, uh, in mine, and yeah, when you try to keep it that small, it's just so much harder to uh, um, me to really get in and do the detail kind of work that I, I want to do. Mm -hmm. So... But I've been wanting to do stop motion uh stuff for a long time now and uh you know kind of like the Leica movies like Coraline and Paranorman and all that I, I'd love to do some little shorts like that yes I know um so there's like a a wood weathering kit and like a rust kit that I want to get but before I paid like 30 bucks for teeny tiny things of paint, I was just seeing like if I could do it with what we had on hand, like our FW inks and the paints that he uses to paint the masks. And I think, I think it worked pretty good for 
having no like direction where I'm going, but um, I definitely want to get, hey, what's up? I definitely want to get like some of the like wood weathering and the rust and kind of the, like the metal effects and stuff like that so that um, I can make it look real. See, that's the one I was telling you to buy. Yeah. Yeah, the Vallejo. Yes. And there's Rust, like a wood yeah. weathering kit from Vallejo too. And then there's a, um, I think it's called Spiders with like a Z. And you can, um, it's like liquid. You put it in your airbrush and it like shoots out like mini cobwebs almost. And I totally want to get that too because that's like one of my biggest pet peeves of people doing the minis is when they have like, I don't like the Halloween cobweb looking things. And it's like, holy shit, how big did that spider have to be? You know? Mm -hmm. And then another thing that you can do if you can't find the spiders, if you can get your hand on some baldies, you can put that through the airbrush and that makes spider webs they too. I don't know what fucking baldies is. Well, I'm just saying. If you... Yes. Uh, like at the haunt, we. You could use an airbrush. Um, mm -hmm. Another thing I, I used is uh, basically you use like hot glue gun and you could hook it up to a compressor if you want. Oh, yeah. And you can shoot the hot glue. It'll spray it out. Into like the really thin strings. Yeah. And then for like big drips. I, I, did, I was doing a lot of like a sewer scene and... Mm -hmm. We had a bunch of slime and shit like that, and I used hot glue gun all over the place for it. It um, works well. I think I, we learned quite a bit of tricks on that whole. I mean, that's all it is in the haunt stuff is distressing it. And oh yeah, making it, you know, grungy and. I think that's weathered and kind of where I got this because I was like, okay, I'm just gonna start layering grungy colors and. Yeah see what we come up with so it's all just what up muddy how's it going just working on my tiny things oh yeah yes hey we did that too <laughs> yeah we did that exactly <laughs> literally too. for the it was called, it was the, called voodoo the voodoo lounge, lounge. <laughs> it was the bar beneath the uh, yeah. the haunt that's funny yeah we did a lot of shit there a lot of ghosts yeah for real it it was a really cool bar though it had a lot of those like type things and i it looked like a kind of like a louisiana bayou kind of feel and there was it just depends on where you were at in the bar. Like when you first walked in, that whole little thing with the crosses and dirt. Yeah. We we like molded some chicken feet. And so we had all these like resin chicken feet hanging everywhere. That was fun. And I think eventually there was like wasn't there like a taxidermied hog? Yeah, and then like, like a, a moose. Something. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, I'd say our, our number one things I used in the haunt is trash, trash bags, bags um, fun foam, or heat like... Gun. What? Heat gun. Heat gun. And then foam. Get drink there. <laughs> I was probably your bartender. Yeah. Seriously. Uh, did you have a bartender with blue hair? Like short blue hair? That was me. <laughs> oh, that place closed down oh. yeah. a couple of years ago. Oh, more than a four years. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. He's he was saying he would drink there, not it. It was pretty cool. It wasn't. I mean. It would definitely wasn't up to health code, but I had a heavy pour because I worked for tips. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was fun. 
And don't get me wrong, I love a themed bar. As long as it's a good theme. But I've always wanted to go to like one of the Harry Potter bars, but this one does not like Harry Potter. Yep. Oh, it was it was like the deepest of dive bars. <laughs> yeah. On on the ocean floor level. And it had a lot of ghosts. In it. Oh, there it was wouldn't be crystal hey, clear. there was nothing crystal clear there. You might have some floaties in it, but Oh, that's cool. I want to see, isn't there one here that's like that? You have to, it's like you walk in and it's like, it looks like just a very small like study or like a library. And then you have to pull out this certain book and then give them the password and then you can go in and drink. And then it's like this weird all, um, like. That's supposed to be like a, oh, like a speak. Thing. Yeah, like a speakeasy kind of thing. <laughs> a look, a planks. Yeah, I mean, they should do more. I'd love to go to like a horror themed bar, or go mm. to that like eager bar. Oh, in Amsterdam that would be or super cool. We have a friend that's been there a few times, and she always talks that place up. <laughs> That would be scary. I'd probably be like, I'm sorry, I came to the wrong place. Oh, man. That's pretty funny. It reminds me of, a. Uh, remember, like, Molly Murphy's, that restaurant? And, it, like, if you came in with a tie, they'd, like, cut your tie off. And if you didn't know where the bathroom was, because literally they had so much shit jam-packed into this restaurant. If you didn't know where the bathroom was... They would announce it to the whole restaurant and be like, ding, ding, get on the potty train. And then like, you'd have to go around the whole restaurant. And then finally they would show you like where the bathroom was. And then the entire bathroom, the entire bathroom was like mod podged. Like the girl's bathroom was mod podged with like, hot dudes from like magazines all over the entire thing and then the guy's bathroom was mob podged with like hot chicks all over the bathroom it was cool and then like the salad bar was a an old jaguar right like the car and so like all the salad fixings were like inside the car it was really cool i went there like one time when i was like 11 and it makes me sad because they don't have that anymore. But our, our waiter was Conan, and my dad, to this day, still talks about that fucking guy. My dad, the same guy who went to Mexico and swore up and down that our taxi driver's name was Ola. And was asking everyone if they knew him, because they all seemed to know who Ola was. <laughs> That's hilarious. Is I haven't that the been one there. That was on, that was haunted. Is that the one that has like uh, shrunken heads in it, or, oh, or I think something so. like that? I didn't get to go to any bars when I was in Vegas because it was during COVID time. I wanted to go to a. Uh... Oh, what was it? The one inside the, cos inside the Cosmopolitan, like with all the beads and everything, and they have that one drink. You eat the berry, and then everything tastes weird. I really wanted to do that one, but the bar, um, they only had like limited seating, and it was like ten people could be in the bar in one time, and it just wasn't worth it. I didn't want to have to wait around that one because, I even though there was like nobody in Vegas during that time, it was still. You know, people wanted to go out so bad that it was packed, usually at the places that were open. Yeah, 
Yeah, we've seen a special about that bar. Or not a special, uh... uh ghost Adventure. That's And try out. Could you got like two, like make it like a fence and put two sticks on the on the back to brace it and glue it so it holds it together oh. and flip it over, and then it'll be strong. Snip should I super glue those? Sure. Would you just do it like two across or three? Oh. Okay. I don't Let's know. Do I, just want to cut it. I did it on the bottom of the paper so that I could cut it. That's. I um, when COVID was going on. Um, I was teaching FX in Dallas, and then they would ship me from, like, Dallas to Vegas, because they had another location in Vegas, too. And so I taught, like, one class, one class, one class, one class, um, here and there. So that was a lot of fun. I liked being able to go back and forth. Fun? Okay. Okay. Uh. I wish I knew where my zip kit was and spray this of it. I did go to uh Zach Baggins Haunted Museum while I was in Vegas though. And that was cool as fuck. I paid for the VIP and I got to go down to the basement. That was and then Peggy the doll was there, and they had just put a spirit box with her. She was speaking in French or German. I don't. I was the only person on my tour, like for the last few hours, that had done VIP. So it was like literal VIP because everywhere that I would get to go, um, the manager, like Brian, I think it was. He would personally like take me through and because I was the only person, he was like, oh hell, I'm gonna show you all this cool stuff. And I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't crawl through the wall. That was the one thing that I did not do because it weirded me out. So I didn't do the wall, but I did do the basement. I didn't want to crawl through. Because again, I was by myself and I was like, nope, I don't want anything jumping at me. And then uh, I had to beg all those clowns not to get me. I'm not a clown person. Um, so thankfully they were pretty cool and they didn't. I let them know as I was walking through, I was like, I don't like clowns. I don't want to be scared. <laughs> Do not. Oh, no way. That was that was the one thing I didn't do because I was like by myself on it. My friend came with me, um, but she didn't do VIP because she was like, I'm not, I'm not about all that. And I was like, okay, cool. But I had so much fun and it was, it was awesome. Like the manager guy really like made it, made it really cool for me.
but it was it was really neat um i was the only person that went in and looked at the uh the oh, what is it the swedish dude's head like and then i was one of the only people that went in to hang out with peggy um and they had just moved her into that big doll room um and gave her a spirit box so it was awesome it was it was really cool and they had a spirit did they have a spirit box in the basement when you went because they had one when um when i went and the whatever was coming through knew the manager guy and was like holding conversation with him it was crazy yeah it was really cool like he was he was just talking to it and like it was answering his questions and then he told him my name and then it literally was like hey laura and i was like <laughs> and then he was like yeah you know i have to come down here several times and you know, I have to, in, in the morning and at night, he was like, I'm the only person here. And uh, I'm the, you know, I'm really the only person that talks to them when I'm by myself. He was like, so yeah, they, they know me pretty well. And I was like, that's cool. I told Jason that when I die, I want my ashes to go to Zach Peg, And I want to live. Oh, wow. I don't think I want to do the flashlight. No, no. I don't know, that's too much for me. I would much rather do it in the daytime. Or at least when there's people there and lights, because this should be spooky. That's a, that's a lot of activity in one little place, man. Right? Okay, yeah, maybe if I was like super drunk and really brave, but I don't I don't know if that would really happen. I'd almost have to not realize what was going on for me to go. I think I glued I did. shit. So I successfully glued paper. Oh, my fence. I was not. Well, it's not even a fence. My back. God damn it. <sighs> I glued the wood to the paper, which I didn't want to, but I Okay. Oh no. Shit. Hey, really? Oh, that sucks. Oh no, it was super glue. Super glue. Ding, 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 ding. 
Hey, can I have those snippy thingies? Don't know if they're gonna work. <laughs> oh, John went to that. Mm hmm. Uh, Zach Baggins haunted. Museum. Haunted museum. He did the VIP tour too. He said that you can do like a late night flashlight. Jason didn't get to go with me. I was there when I was at the school. So I think if we go back, I'd like to take him because I think he would enjoy it. Maybe. I don't know, it was kind of spooky. I mean, it was actually... We had a really cool tour guy, too. I mean, you get several of them. Like, real. They, like, switch. But... And you like just a little thing up here and give it teeth. You have a charper pair. I think. Where was it located? Was it close to uh, the strip? Or? No, it was like downtown. Yeah. It was like 10, 15, okay? Like a $30 Uber ride. Which, I mean, ev pretty much everything. Pretty. I don't know what it is now, but they had everything like um, you'd have to wait forever to get an Uber because there were so many people that needed to go places. Um, and then like um, there just weren't enough drivers because everybody was scared of COVID. That. Would not recommend going to Vegas. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's like kind of by downtown ish. I wish I had an Airbnb. Like, I think while I was there that time, I stayed at the. Oh, fuck. What, what hotel was. It was like a casino hotel. And I met, um, I met Debbie from 90 Day Fiance, <laughs> Colt's mom. I heard her talking when we were at the restaurant that was in the hotel. And I was like, holy shit, that's dude's mom from 90 Day Fiance. And she took a picture with me. She was super nice. Very nice. And she was tickled shitless that I knew who she was and like picked her out from the crowd. Look at me like building shit. Is she? I'm gonna... Yeah. Like. Like what? Oh my god. You measure the paper.
probably reuse these. When I... Oh my gosh! Did that shit. I am shit. Oh shit, did I do it back? Should I probably paint separate? Son of a bitch. Like, very successfully. I just don't know if I'm... I think we're going to have to paint this white first and then go back. Oh, son of a... I didn't know there was glue in that. I was like, oh, here's one. Well, thankfully, that was just Elmer's... Look at the ship lap. Right? Is that what it is? Damn. That should be on HGTV. Right? I'll get the exact phone put out a couple of like wood knots and stuff. No. Oh. 
was going for hard. Big picture here. Yeah. I don't have time for your weirdo. It's like ding 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 and then jumma jum jum jumma jum jum do 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 Yeah I'm about <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather be back in college working at service merchandise, listening to Mariah oh, Carey <laughs> over and over and over. And over. Ready, tat, tat. Ready, tat, tat. <laughs> do, 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 do. Ready, tat, tat. Uh, I mean, there's a reason it's free. I think Jason would rather listen to me sing than Hey there, look. Bam! No. Eh, it doesn't have to. I'm making the call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, sorry. My whole head was like... I know. Mm -hmm. Wanna like the nerds, Benjamin and Paris, they're new on that. Do 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 do. Dexter. Something like that. Yes. Well, there was Booger. Oh, he was there for Lamar. I want to say Point Dexter. Yeah. I can't think of. What was the one that was like? <laughs> yeah. What was the main two? Edward. Or no, that was the yeah. actor. Yeah. Like what? Nerds. I'm gonna be a Grey's Anatomy Bernard. Nerds. Which Bernard was uh, the one with the glasses? The one that hooks up with the cheerleader at the end. Heck. Yeah. What's... Oh. Lewis. I'm almost positive. That just right. hit me. I just started thinking of it. Lewis is He just one. yelled it out. Lewis! <laughs> I think. Okay, the tall, the one that ended up being Goose and Top Gun. What was his name? And then he was like on Grey's Anatomy. I don't know. He's on one of the hospital. ER maybe? ERs. I, I don't, don't think he was on Grey's I just like watched Grey's Anatomy. Sorry. Every time I catch myself, I'm like, shit, guys. I'm just making this really grimy and gross. Dusty. Dusty. I don't know. I never played it. I know of it. Not like the guy. It's like a Lucas Arts game, right? They like Day of the Genic, all that stuff. Well, 
what was it? Clap your uh, hands, everybody. Clap your everybody hands, clap everybody. Your hands. And everybody, clap your hands. <laughs> I want to watch that now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I just seen it. Remember, I don't know, it wasn't too long. Six months or so ago. It was on, and I, I, I caught a little of Caught a whiff. You call yourself a horror fan. Because I didn't play Maniac Mansion. I don't think I want to put the gold balls. Here, Tay. Cigar and dig. I, I never played um, Day of the Tentacles either. I did. I like that one. I did play the motorcycle. Whoa. Oh, what was that one? Full throttle, yes. And I played a little of the, um, uh, the fucking Day of the Dead, Grim Fandango, but I got bored with that one. That was so long ago. I mean, that, that shit was like in... Full Throttle came out when I was at the Art Institute, like in 95 or something. It's been 84 years. I did play the other one a little bit. I had a friend that had it. Um, played with the Le Leisure Suit Larry. Kind of mm -hmm. like the dirt. I have that one on my Switch. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, uh, what was it, like last summer or something, Grim Fandango. Did it get a sequel or a remaster or something like that? Or, again, on IGN. But dreams don't <laughs> Yeah, that's what I have, yeah. It was a remaster. Okay. Yeah, I, I considered it. Cause I, I always hear about, you know, that that's supposed to be. Classic to what? Grim Fam King Cup. Grammy. I like this. Gun. This is a lot less. It's <laughs> not sweat. Scorpion. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Putting ghosts in the ghost. Yeah. That's so Oh, cool. I'll take a look. Oh, wow. I need. Oh, that's cool. 
So it's like a Harry Potter scene. Harry Potter book. Well, I've seen some of those on um on Amazon. Oh, that one. I don't know. I've never seen Harry Potter, so I couldn't. Like it. <laughs> Yeah. Why don't you tell them why you? Like what? Name one. You said you haven't seen the Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah, I won't because um I'm scared of the gremlin guy. Did you haven't seen all the Star Wars? Nope, I haven't. That was as I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I've seen them. I just haven't seen them enough to know like what's going on. Sorry. Not sorry. Sorry, nerd. Who's the nerd, Harry Potter? You. Nerd. Nerd. Now we have to watch. I know that's what I've been seeing this whole time. Hi, dude. I'll look out for you, Sean. Um, try to catch your stream. See Bye. what you're working on. Thanks for coming in. It was nice to officially meet you. Cool, man. Well, you take care. And, uh, yeah, thanks for dropping in. Good to see you again. Oh, it's great. Dirty. Lots of layers. I'll see, he has a little old guy. Mm, right. I like, like him. I get mad at him when he doesn't do his little <laughs> zombie hands. At Of course, I was like lazy and literally just shrunk down pictures of no. my stuff. I didn't like actually take it. It's funny, I didn't think any cared. I didn't. I didn't. Oh. Okay, God.
you know, it was dinner. Scratch me off 